you'll see that I pulled a sample ELA class report. If you do a class report, again under the NWEA map reports, and you go down towards the top and you go to the class report. It breaks down the entire class, how they performed on the ELA and the math, but on page three it gives you the breakdown, I believe it's on math first, and then it breaks down your ELA on page six. So what I did was I took this class, this is an older class, fourth grade obviously, and looking at the reading, I would sit down with this as well as those personal student goal setting worksheets, and I would go over, in this case, the key idea is this test duration. That tells you how long the kids spent on taking this test. And you'll notice I've already marked a few that took less than 25 minutes to do this test. 16 minutes, 12 minutes, 16 minutes, 23 minutes, 17 minutes, 22 minutes. That in itself isn't necessarily something you should be concerned about, except that these students are scoring low across the way. So it's not that they're to, doing it quickly and they're having an understanding of these concepts and they're scoring a high, high level on them because they're just able to do it. It's that they're scoring low and they're clicking to get through the test. These are things that you're going to jump out at you and that you, when they finish taking the test, you should go back and look and say, you know what, this may not be valid data. They may need to go in and do it again. And tell them, show them that you can see how long they take to take this test. Now, granted, this first student took 78 minutes. Do I expect all the students to take 78 minutes? Absolutely not. And just because they spend more time on it doesn't mean they're going to do better, but it should be a more accurate picture of how they perform on those goals and standards. Most of the students score, or worked for about 30 to 45 minutes, which makes sense for a fourth grade class doing reading comprehension, informational text, literature, foundational skills, and vocabulary. But without looking at this test duration, you don't, you don't necessarily know which students are the ones that are taking it seriously and which students aren't. And that may play into how they perform. So when you look and do your student goal setting, maybe what they would need to do is just actually take it as a serious test. Maybe they clicked through it during the winter one, so then in the spring their plan is to take the test a little more seriously, focus a little more, and take their time a little more. A second example that I also have on here is the math example. And you'll notice that, again, different grade level, this is a second grade class, the test duration is still, I highlighted it, and there's a few that, that did it in 21, 23, 28 minutes. But again, the concern comes when it's 23 minutes and they're scoring low across the way. Not the 28 minute student who scored high across the way or average, because that student obviously is understanding it. But this student who scored in 23 minutes, low, 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 it leads me a question as to, okay, seeing as it is an adaptive test, is that student truly trying or is that student just clicking? And sometimes it's a matter of they are trying, it's just that's as much as they can perform and that's as long as they can perform. Keep in mind there are some students that are going to take longer, 81 minutes. They scored high across the way, obviously they were very focused, but maybe they suffer from distractions, maybe they need more time to process. These, these test duration things can also serve to help you when you're giving these other classroom assessments in class or you're doing projects in class to give you an idea of what these students need. And it may be a discussion point that you use when you meet with your students.